Hey, welcome back, guys. This is uh, TTM number eight. Been getting a lot of returns back recently. Wanted to put these on video as soon as possible. I have three today. One card, one um, four by six photograph, and then a one eight by ten return. First return is from Westchester, New York. It's actually from uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. We think we know who this is. Uh, let's try it. Take a look. Oh, he didn't put it back in the top loader, but it's uh, 72 top signed by former player Bobby Valentine. Bobby Valentine is now the athletic director at Sacred Heart University in Connecticut. And man, when he was coming up, he was a phenom. As you can see here, hopefully, look at that season he had in AAA before he got called up in Spokane. 211 hits, 16 triples, 14 homers, and hit 340 in 1970. Called up by the Dodgers in 1971 for about half a season. But he was... Um, he was a real stud. That, he was about 20 years old when he did that. So he was uh, a phenom back then, a star to be. His career never really panned out. He was, he was an okay player, wasn't a great player by any stretch, and became a manager after his playing career and did pretty well there. Best known probably for getting kicked out of a game and then coming back to the dugout with, a, with a kind of a, uh, a mockery of a travesty of two shams. Uh, kind of a disguise. He had a fake mustache and a pair of uh, dark glasses on. He sat in the dugout after he was uh, supposedly to be kicked out of the game and sent to the clubhouse. But that's Bobby Valentine. Uh, got that back in 18 days. He only signs one card. He does it for free, but it's a one-card limit, and you send it directly to uh, Sacred Heart in Connecticut. This next one is um, postmarked from Norman, Oklahoma. And it's a 4 by 6 photograph, former Heisman Trophy winner, Steve Owens. And he signed it, Steve Owens, 69 Heisman, 36, which was his uniform number. And he signed two of two, Steve Owens, 69 Heisman. Very nice on 4 by 6 photographs. Good, always good to get a Heisman Trophy autograph. Um, I have a couple. I'd like to get all of them if I could. But that's very nice for there if I... Steve Owens. I'll put this Valentine autograph there as well. Put that up there so you can see. There we go. Third one is an 8x10. Oh, Steve Owens also put this um, just a piece of typing paper to help the photographs not get bent. And he also he put his own stamp on there, please do not bang, which is nice, which I already had my stamp on there, but he added one too. Very nice for him to take such good care of uh, his photographs. Next one is an 8x10, postmarked out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge Pirates fan, especially the old Pirates from the 60s and 70s and early 80s. This is a relief pitcher. Start off with the Cardinals, came to the Pirates and um, was an all-star there and got a World Series ring in 1971. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Roberto Clemente fan, and I always, I've always i read just about every book there is to read on Roberto, and it always talked about what good friends it, uh, he was with Dave Justy and Steve Blass and Manny Sanguin and a couple of other players on the team. So that in turn liked me, caused me to like uh, – Dave Justy even more than I already did, but he was he was a great reliever. Had a palm ball, um, which I guess would be a kind of a, like a circle change in today's world. But he signed this one in black pen, not a sharpie, but a black ballpoint. It looks like, as he did with this glossy photograph, <laughs> right there on his shoulder with the black ballpoint pen. Dave Justy, and I also included a uh, press photograph from the 1971 World Series. This was taken, um, as you may be able to read there, after game four. Uh, the Pirates won 4-3. Justy picked up the save, shaking hands with uh, great catcher Manny Sanguin. He pitched the ninth inning of game four. And uh, 
There he is shaking hands, and there's the signature again in black ballpoint. Would have looked great with blue Sharpie, but hey, I'm glad to get it. One of my favorite players from the 71 world champion Pittsburgh Pirates. And there's first baseman Bob Robertson there. And I think that's Merv Rettmond. Could be Davey Johnson. That's Davey Johnson, former manager Davey Johnson, who made the final out, it looks like, of the game four. Uh, so those are the returns today. Three photographs from Dave Justy. I appreciate that very much. Um, two photographs, two of two from Steve Owens. And Justy got this back to me in six days. Steve Owens, I think I forgot to mention, was uh, 15 days. And I did mention that Bobby Valentine was 18 days. So three great returns today. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me out. Hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos. I've got a lot of TTMs out there, and I'll be uh, showing more videos soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.